Today, we're reviewing the latest earnings report from RS Capital Corporation, ticker symbol ARCC, a business development company focused on providing capital to established middle market companies in the United States. Business development companies, or BDCs, can be a compelling option for investors seeking higher income in the form of dividends. In this video, I will first take a look at RS Capital's Q1 report and the numbers that came out. Then I'll give you two characteristics which make the company a unique investment and why I personally like the company a lot. But before we dive into the nitty gritty, let's take a quick step back and quickly explain what a BDC is. Business development companies act as a bridge between institutional investors and smaller, less established businesses. These businesses use the capital they raise from investors to provide financing to these mid-sized companies that might not qualify for traditional bank loans. This financing can come in various forms like loan or equity investments. RS Capital, in particular, focuses on senior loans, which offer a more secure position in the capital structure should a borrower default. Now, let's dive into the details of ARCC's Q1 2024 earnings report. While the headline number of core earnings per share of 59 cents fell slightly short of analysts' expectations by one cent, it's crucial to analyze the broader picture. Here are some key takeaways to unpack. While missing analyst estimates isn't ideal, it's important to acknowledge that the reported core EPS of 59 cents still represents year-over-year -year growth compared to the 57 cents reported in Q1 2023. This demonstrates a trend of ongoing profitability for the company. Also, a positive indicator is the record high net asset value, or NAV, per share, reaching $19.53 at the end of Q1. This metric essentially reflects the company's underlying book value, calculated by subtracting its liabilities from its total assets. A rising NAV suggests that the value of ARCC's portfolio is appreciating. The debt-to-equity ratio, a key measure of financial health, improved to a healthier 0.99x at the end of March 2024, down from 1.07x at the year's end in December 2023. This indicates a more conservative financial structure with a lower reliance on debt financing. A particularly encouraging aspect of the report is the significant increase in investment activity. RS Capital made gross commitments of $3.55 billion in Q1, a substantial jump compared to $2.38 billion in the previous quarter and a mere $766 million a year ago. This search suggests a busy and potentially lucrative period ahead with ARCC actively deploying capital into new opportunities. The overall portfolio size also expanded, reaching $23.1 billion at the end of March, up from $22.9 billion at the year's end. Additionally, the company exited investment commitments of $3.41 billion, demonstrating active portfolio management and potentially freeing up capital for new investments. The CEO of RS Capital emphasized the company's strong start to the year, highlighting healthy earnings, low non-accrual rates, which means loans unlikely to be repaid on time or at all, moderate leverage, and the significant increase in investment activity. This positive outlook from the company's leadership is reassuring for investors. Another crucial piece of news for income-oriented investors is the dividend strategy. For income-focused investors, RS Capital declared a regular quarterly dividend of $0.48, cents, maintaining consistency with previous quarters. This translates to a yield of around 9.3%, which can be quite attractive compared to other income-generating options like bonds or savings accounts. While the yield appears to be very high and so raises the question of whether it's a yield trap, it's important to understand the context here. RS Capital, as I said, is a BDC, which are companies that, similar to REITs, have to distribute 90% of their taxable income to investors. This means that for companies like that, the high yield is not a result of depressed share price and bad market sentiment, but is there by design. Although high, the dividend of the company is pretty durable. If we remove the noise of special dividends, the company has either raised or maintained it every year since the financial crisis of 2008 and 2009. Because of those high dividends, RS Capital has managed to crush even the S&P 500 index due to the power of compounding that comes from reinvesting them. As you can see, RS Capital has achieved 940% returns since its creation compared to the S&P 500's 547% for the same time frame. Another very interesting fact about RS is that they're able to play the interest rate arbitrage game, which has served them well in the current environment. Here's what I mean. As many business development companies, 
RS earns their profit from the spread between what it costs them to borrow money and the profit they make on lending it to other businesses. Nothing new here. However, what's great about RS Capital is that the majority of their own loans are fixed rate, meaning that they have not suffered a lot due to the rising of the interest rates in the past two years. But the loans that they give to the businesses which are their clients are floating rate, which means that as the rates have risen, the income on these loans have risen too. This is an extremely lucrative arbitrage game they are able to play, which is one of the main reasons I have included them as one of my top four stocks for the current environment we are in, in my report. You can get the access to the other three by going to the link in the description. It is free and always will be up to date, regardless of when you are watching this, because I'm constantly updating it. That obviously means at some point when the situation changes, I might remove RS from it. But for now, at the time of recording this, it's there. Let me know if you invest in RS Capital in the comments and also check out this video that should have appeared on your screen already to continue with your investing education. Check the disclaimer in the description and I'll see you in the next one.